Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Divinity Original Sin. So I've progressed just a little bit trying to figure out exactly where I'm supposed to go, so I had a few fights here, and uh, there's a force field that I cannot penetrate, although I didn't know I could talk to it, so let's see what this is about. Um... I'll take my leave. Alright, so we got to open this force field. Eternal Winter. Okay, well, this is, uh... Another quest! <laughs> another quest we have to do. Anyway, so like I was saying, I've progressed a bit and done a few things. I've actually leveled up here, so we're gonna do that before we continue. Plus, I have some gear to, uh, identify before we progress a little bit further. I'm assuming I gotta, I gotta go north in this area here. And hopefully things will make sense. Over here there's like this big, I don't know, guardian thing that I can't do any damage to. So I figure there's probably something that'll help me do damage to him. So, yeah, that's where we're at. Let's go ahead and quickly, well, quickly, let's, uh, let's do this properly, actually. So I'm going to send this to Zoe. Let's uh, level up our characters here. So I only, I get four available points. I don't get anything else. So that's kind of a boo kind of level up. Um, really skills with him, I really don't care anymore. I mean, I could up at Manta Arms, but I really don't feel like it. Personality, I really don't care. Anyway, so it's really, I mean, there's some defensive stuff I could do. Or I can, I can up his, actually, I can do even more damage with him if I upped his uh, two-handed. Now, that's actually something I really like. I mean, that extra 10%... You know, damage boost each level up is is quite good. I mean, it's very noticeable. Ever since I've actually equipped his good weapon, he's been kicking ass. Actually, we can now equip the other better weapon now, so that's going to be interesting. He's going to be doing crazy damage, but honestly, maybe just some more defense would be pretty good on him. Like, extra armor resist. Hmm... It does reduce the heavy armor movement penalty by 20%, so per point. That's actually probably the reason why he's able to do more actions now in combat, so I'm th really thinking this might not be a bad idea. And as well, bodybuilding is also pretty good, because I don't like when he gets knocked down. It also... Oh, it works against burning, bleeding, crippled, blinded... Wow, yeah, 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 bodybuilding is very good. <laughs> um, you know what, I think... I think I want one more in bodybuilding. There we go. It's done. It's a done deal. One available point. We'll just hold on to that one for later. And, uh, yeah, like I was saying, I could probably... Well, not probably. I can equip his other better sword. And it's this one here. It's this unique. Now, the maximum damage will be lower. However, the minimum damage is going to be crazy through the roof. I also gain two-handed plus one. An extra willpower, fire resist 20%, hit 38 uh, more hit points. I lose two strength, though, and I lose my critical chance. I lose a lot of critical chance, actually. No, not that much. Uh, and I gain one constitution. You know what? I have to wear this. This is, I think, a better uh, weapon. I really do. Just because the minimum damage is just so much higher. It's crazy. And that, to me, is way more important than max damage. And the, honestly, the max damage is not all that much different. It's really just the minimum damage that's crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, actually. Let's go ahead and equip this. That a boosh. Plus, I have, like, two-handed swords better than anything else. So everything else in here is, j well, junk. It's stuff that I have to sell. Eventually, I will, <laughs> I will go back to town and we'll get that done. So there we go. Kyle now has... Is, uh, actually, we can see here, damage 253 to 347, and if I put this back on, it's 137 to 345. So as you can see, actually, I gain. <laughs> I gain more max damage because of the, the, the extra plus uh, one to two-handed. That is awesome. So And the minimum damage just skyrocketed, so that's crazy. That is an awesome unique, and I'm very happy. All right, so next level up is going to be Taxile. Actually, hang on here. Uh, Kyle, you have this, right? I can learn this now. Inspires allies around you, right? This is the better version of what we have. So hang on, let me just quickly go here. Encourage. So we're going to forget encourage. Except we're going to go ahead and learn this. There we go. Encourage. 
It's going to cost a little bit more uh, action points to use. It's six instead of five, but it's uh, also going to increase our speed and per uh, speed and perception, as opposed to the other one that was just increasing strength, dexterity, intelligence. So this will make everybody much better and faster, really. So that's going to be good. Uh, all right. So next, we got tactile. You can probably learn this one too. Yes, I can. So what are we going to do here? Actually, let me just take a quick look. Is there anything I want to forget here? I actually like all of these. Uh, they've grown on me, and I have to say I like them a lot. The Charming Touch works more often than not, so that's pretty good. Cloak and Dagger is a good way to escape. Uh, this actually does some pretty good damage. We got the Eye Gorge, which weakens. Actually, this one, I mean, oh no, this one's Blinds. Okay, Blinds actually pretty good. Uh, fast Track is really good. This one here, the weakened one is not that great, but it's still nice to have. So honestly, with Taxile... I think I might want to up Man at Arms. Ah, oh, but I can't. Cannot do Man at Arms. I can't even do Single Handed Weapon. Or not Man at Arms, the uh, Scoundrel, my bad. Um, I might actually have to conserve these points. I don't want to put anything in there. Craftsmen's, we're not going to put anything. Nasty Deeds, I mean, I mean, there's something to be said about the pickpocketing, actually. Or the sneaking, for that matter. But I, I don't know. I don't know if I actually want to invest in that right now. I'd rather just save for maybe one more in the scoundrel. Or do I just forget one of the one of the spells? Like I said, the weakened one I don't use that often. And this one here, a mechanical bomb that you can control remotely, seems very, very interesting. Summon a level 13 bomb in a 4 meter radius for 30 seconds. Press the button to go boom. I mean, this is just going to be perfect for certain situations. I, I really want that right now. So what I'm going to do is actually go in Nasty Deeds and up pickpocketing, which I'm probably going to get yelled at in the comments for doing, because <laughs> it's better to just find gear that does it. But I'm not finding gear that does it right now. I only have one. Actually, no, I only have I only have one that gives me plus one lockpicking. There's a lot of lockpicks that I get to that I can't do. Nah, that seems like a waste. Ah. Seems like a waste. Seems like a freaking waste. What about defense? Armor specialist might not be bad. Bodybuilding would be nice. You know what? Bodybuilding, actually. I think I'm going to go bodybuilding and save my last point. I really like the idea of bodybuilding. I didn't know that it uh, also worked against burning and bleeding, crippled, blinded. I mean, really all the bad stuff. So having a high bodybuilding on, uh, you know, characters that are going to be up in the front lines is probably a very good idea. So there we go. We've done that. We're going to save our last point. I really want to use this, so what we're going to do is go here, and I will forget the... Uh, was it the Eye Gorge? No, it was Razor's Edge. No, Razor's Edge I like. Precision Incision. Or Precise Incision. <laughs> Dyslexia! Weakened lowers... Uh, f uh, oh, weak lowers target's damage by 50 and strength by minus 2. That's actually not bad. I like everything. I like them all right now. They're all handy, but this remote bomb thing is going to be sweet. Or do I just wait for another level up? I mean, I, I might level up soon. I might be leveling up soon. Okay, you know what? I'm going to keep it this way. I'm going to wait. I, I, I like all my uh, skills on Taxile right now. I don't want to actually forget anything, so. Um, ooh, six available points. I use cereal. Holy schmooly. For balsam. Really? Well, more damage with the bow would be nice, although more skills definitely would ha come in handy. I'm gonna do that, actually. I'm gonna do that, and I don't have any skills to learn right now, but I'm sure there's gonna be stuff to find. We have to identify all this stuff. We're gonna do that right after. I still have two points to use. Um, I mean, on defense, bodybuilding, willpower. I mean, willpower is actually not a bad idea. Mute, charmed, frozen, stunned, cursed, slowed, and petrified. Yeah. You know what? Maybe not. Maybe I'd rather just conserve the points. You know, maybe do some Lucky Charm as well. Keep going with the Lucky Charm on this character. Lore Master. I'm definitely going to keep it at 5 right now. I don't need more than that. You know what? I think I might just want to keep my points. Where do I put two? Uh, do I put 1 in Willpower? I got a base of 1 and I got Bodybuilding 1. That seems... That seems like enough, I guess, for this character. You know what? I'm going to conserve my points. See what I can do next uh, on the next level. And uh, nothing I can use here. Uh, I guess I might as well identify real quick since we're on her. 
And she does identify really quickly. With Lore Master 5, it goes really, really fast. So, let's quickly take a look here. Oh, nice armor. I hope it's good. Okay, so first things first. This armor is intriguing to me. Of course, level tw uh, strength 12, level 13. I'm going to send this to Kyle. I want to check it right now because I am interested. Oh, where did it go? Hang on. I got too much fucking crap on this guy. All right, right here. Oh, wow. The armor rating goes through the freaking roof. Bodybuilding plus one. I like that. And I get all the resistances. More than what I have now, but I lose one armor specialist, one strength, and one constitution. Yeah. But the armor is crazy. The armor rating is crazy. And I get more resistances. I get more fire, more water, a lot more earth, and more air. I'd like this guy to be resistant to everything, really, would be the bottom line. I want this guy... This guy's like a tank-slash-damage guy, <laughs> is what I'm trying to do with this knight. So, I think I like this. And bodybuilding, like I mentioned, is really good. I had completely forgot forgotten that it worked with burning, so... You know what, I'm going to do it just for the extra armor, I mean... Let's go ahead and equip that. There we go. So, defense armor rating went up pretty high. We're losing strength but uh, what's my carry weight at oh man I'm actually reaching the uh, the max right now very very soon so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to go back to towns towns uh and uh, sell my shit eventually but uh, anyways so there we go next on balsam what else did you have here um, yeah no this is not gonna be better than what we have we'll just send it to Kyle intelligence actually Zoe we'll check after or master and water resist no, that's kind of crap. Send this to Kyle and sell it. These are level 1s, right? Yeah, item level 4, so these things aren't going to be good at all. This is a level 6. It's going to be crap. Level 5 is going to be crap. Level 6 is going to be crap. And, whoop, I sent it to Zoe by accident. And uh, shield specialist bodybuilding. Really. Let me send this to Kyle. Let's see if that's better than the belt he's got now. No, two-handed plus one I like way more than any of this stuff here. So, we're going to keep it that way. And, uh, was that it? That's pretty much it for you. I'm just going to toss this here. And, uh, okay, that's it. Did we level you up? Yes, we did. And leveling you up. Let's send this back to the homestead. I'm going to have to eventually soon probably do another crafting episode and maybe do something a little bit more, you know, a little deeper, I guess. Actually, what I wanted was to get to level 15 and then start crafting some really good, you know, weapons. And uh, I'm still probably going to do that. So once we hit level 15, I'll probably do another crafting episode where, uh, you know, I'll, I'll do some item crafting, some weapons. Uh, so we're going to actually send this to the homestead. We can... I don't know why you have this. So let's give it the balsam. Right, this uh, immune to. Right, we don't care about that. Arrowhead. Do some quick crafting here. Send this to Balsam. What's this do? Hair resist 50. I'll send this to Kyle for now. Send this to the homestead. Send this to the homestead. Homestead. This was crap if I remember. What's this thing do? Medium dexterity potion. Cool. Let me send that to Balsam actually. What's this do? Medium perception potion. Really? Send this to Balsam. Minor perception potion. Just gonna resort my crap here. What does this do? Oh yeah, telekinesis. Do I have that queued up actually? Or hotkeyed? I do not. Do not have it hotkeyed. Might as well. Hotkey you there and this here. <clears throat> Not that I'm going to remember to use them anyways, but, uh, okay, so, I can now learn this, summon air elemental, right, so, hang on here, hang on, hang on, hang on, right, I can do a lot of things with her now, first things first, let's check this, okay, it's not good at all, I probably should have looked at it before, so what am I going to do in the level up here, this is, uh, this is a tricky one, willpower at four is fine, we'll keep that that way, I don't 
really think I need more. Really, it's just skills with uh, Zoe. So Zoe's going to be the skill chick. And I got two in Pyrokinetics now. And I, got, I can get a lot of spells. Hydrosophus would be nice, but Aerial Thurge probably makes the most sense. I can do three points here. I got, I got three more that I can use here. I think I'm going to do that. There we go. And I'm going to have to remember to, to get some uh, some fire spells. And I guess Zoe will be just an all-round, you know, super uh, mage. The crafting here is, is fine. Also, I don't want to neglect telekinesis too much, but uh, let's go ahead and learn this one for sure. You're, you're actually hotkeyed here, but I'm going to... I'm going to do some switching around. I don't want it there. And what does this do? A magical claw that deals damage. Yeah, I'm not sure I want that. Absorbs half of all physical damage dealt. I'm not sure I actually want that either right now. Let me just try to take a quick look. Skills. Arrow Thurge. I can have one more. I like this. Air resist shield. It's got a good range, right? I think this one. Yeah, 15 me meter range. Everything that's 15 meters, I like. Things that are less, like 12 is fine, I can deal 12, but things that are like 5 meters, not very good for a mage, I have to say. I don't want to get up close to uh, the enemies. So I can summon two elementals now. Nice, 7 action points for this one. Definitely stronger than the other elemental we have. You know what I'm going to do, actually? I think I might actually learn Headvice. Just for now. So let me just re hotkey things here real quickly. Whoops. That's not what I wanted. I wanted this. Close this. Um, arrow Thurge. Okay, so we want. Actually, my summon guy, though, I want back on the. right here. Um, you know, rain I don't really need there. So what I'm gonna do is this. Like this. I got my summons here. Whoops, no. My summons here. This is the wall thing. Actually, this wall thing works good. I've been using slow current a lot more, too. And um, it's very cheap, very easy to use, and it's really good to slow enemies down. They can't do much with, you know, less action points. So it's a very good thing. I can't wait to get mass slow. That's going to be awesome. Well, that's uh, quite a ways away, actually, still. But I think I like this, like that. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come here. What did I remove? I forgot what I just removed. Uh, rain, right? So we're gonna, I don't know, put rain here, like this. Uh, what else did I learn? All oh, right, the, uh, the head vice. Actually, head vice is like an attack spell, though. But I, mm, maybe I want it here. Actually, yeah. You know what? I'll remove the wall thing. This like this. So I got my damage things here. Actually, 106, 130 air damage. That's a lot of damage. Wow. I should have probably have had that a while ago. Uh, slow current I like. Okay, there we go. So then back on tab two. Do I have a tab three? I do. Um, tab two, we're going to put back... What was it? No, it wasn't slow current. It was. Oh, God damn it! I, I forget what the hell I just removed. Ice wall, right? So ice wall, which is pretty good. I've used it a bit now, and it uh, it does what it's got to do, really. So I'm gonna put these here. So this is you know more stuff in my arsenal of uh, things to use, pretty much. I'll do it like this, actually. There, like that. And, uh, I'll, you know, more skills will go here, then I'll reorganize the uh, scrolls. So that's it, man. A lot of talking. Holy crap, that's like 20 minutes of just leveling up crap. Nothing much <laughs> nothing much is going to happen in this episode now. So let's go ahead and just progress here. And that's going to be our characters for now. I'm de I definitely have to go back to town, though, and get, get some stuff. I need stuff. The earth is shaking here. I don't want to go that way. Keep going down here. Hopefully things will make sense. Whoops. Air element. And I have a feeling they don't intend to spare us either. A lot of crap going on. I got experience for that, really?
Alright. Okay. My turn. What am I gonna do? Let's just do a barrage. Some damage. I forgot to fix my gear, though. I should, probably should have done that before, because I have been doing a lot of fights. This area is very long. <laughs> so it's been, uh... It's been long, pretty much. Really? I have to go all the way around like that? But what I'm gonna do then is just move up here and I'll do a stun on this guy. Stun this guy. Conserve your points. Now your turn. Well, let's use this uh, new arsenal of stuff. I'd like to see what the ice elementals all or the air elementals all about. Plus two to low arrow thirge. Crap. So it's nine action points to summon this thing. Well, I mean, I can do it, so I will do it. Probably gonna have to level up Arrow Thurge once more. Alright, your turn. Um, yeah, let me just do one of these. Flurry. Uh, yeah, that's, that's the damage I'm looking for. Serve your points. What does this do? Nice. Shoot a stunning bolt of lightning. Cool. So I got my bolt of lightning now. That's going to come very handy in certain situations. Plus it has a chance to stun. So that's nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Seized. Yeah. Kicking ass. Back here, buddy. Backstab. For the kill. There we go. Shkadaboosh. Wait. What? I have to finish you off now. Hmm. Weird. Thought you were fighting on my side. I got a water essence here that I'm going to grab. Alright. More stuff over here. I really don't know where I'm going, so I'm still just like exploring the area. This guy's not an enemy. know you. Seriously, we've been in the castle, stupids. I think. Might as well sell something real quick here. There we go. It's your lucky day. Might as well. Um. Okay, we've already done all. Whoops. We've already done all this. Okay. Chilled all of a sudden. So there's a few quests that activate internal winter. Right. Right. A lot of 
crazy stuff happening. Okay, so we're right here. Let me just explore, I guess, down there first. I don't want to get stunned here. I probably will. Worth a lot. Alright, this place is very loud. A lot of stuff falling all over the place, making noise. Like these things. Um, I got, I've gotten into a few fights. I had no idea that I couldn't have two summons at a time. I mean, I knew I couldn't have two summons of the same type at the time, but uh, I, I can't summon my... Um, the, what the hell is it called again? My uh, Ice Elemental and my Air Elemental at the same time. But I'm still going to keep both. I mean, I, I figure, you know, different situations, but I have to say the Air one is way better because of the stun factor. And uh, so now that I know that, I probably would have just, you know, I don't know. I don't know what I would have done differently, but anyways. So let's go do this fight here. Obviously, don't have a choice since we're in there. <laughs> um, a, lot of, a lot of action, a lot of noise, screen shaking. Ugh. I don't like this place anymore. Plus, it's, I, I'm cold just looking at this stuff. And it's going to be winter soon now, so... Um, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. This place is just giving me bad... You know, things. How come I can't? I get this weird glitch sometimes. Look, look at the crosshair there. It's all weird. I don't know. Let me move, I don't know, three points. We're on a hill, I guess, that's causing issues. There we go. Fire elemental. So I fear the ice elemental will probably be of more use here. Let me actually just wait one sec here. I'm going to summon the ice guy. He'll be better suited to fight these fire elementals. Alright, Kyle's turn. Can you ram in there? Yes, you can. Let's do it. Hammer time. There we go. Good. run in there and do some damage. I'll try to, anyways. Let's, uh, high gorge. Blind. Seized. I definitely feel stronger than I did a few uh, episodes ago when, when I was completely lost. Now it just, I don't know. Things are making sense. We're level 14 now, I think. 14 or 13? 13. 13. There we go. That's taken care of. Let's keep moving on here. Well, this episode is nearing an end. Let me just take a quick look at what's over here. Let's take a quick look at the map. Alright, so this will just bring us back to where we were. Oh. Fuck. What's this? I found something. Found something. Grab it. Fireballs have stopped all of a sudden. Weird. Just oh yeah, legendary. Oh, it's a rogue too. Sent the balsam. Sent the balsam. Nice. We'll do that in the next episode. Actually, you know what? Let's do it now. Since this episode has been mostly about you know rearranging things. By the way, my game crashed and I had to re-load, uh, and I hadn't saved, so I'm actually still wearing the armor I originally had with Kyle because the other one rolled intelligence. Where is it? Right here. This one rolled intelligence this time around, so it was not nearly as good, plus it, it rolled less armor. So I was like, you know what, fuck that. I'm just going to keep the legendary one because I kind of like the plus one strength constitution and armor specialist. Very, very strong. But uh, anyways, so there we are. We're going to be probably entering this area in the next episode, and hopefully we can finish this witch thing once and for all. At least I hope so. Or do I just keep going a bit? Iron ore? I don't really care. Iron bar. Uh, fine. I'll grab everything. I will grab everything. Consider your pain a sacrifice to the goddess. Someone else is oh, big fight coming up here, probably. So you know what we're going to do? We're actually going to put a cut in this episode, and in the next one we'll do that big fight. And I may or may not go to town in between just to uh, get some fire spells for Zoe. I'm 
might just keep waiting. Plus, I mean, I'm, I'm filling up in crap here on uh, Kyle. I mean, my inventory is getting really cluttered right now. And uh, it's a bit annoying. Let me send this to Zoe, actually. Because we're going to sell. Send this to Zoe. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do because... Oh, I didn't read this yet. I made the maintenance thing of some kind of crap. I'm just going to check it. I don't really care. It's probably what I'm going to do. Then again, maybe not. I might just stay where I'm at. We're not... I mean, we're not coming close to dying right now. So that's always a good thing. And uh, so, yeah, the next one will take care of business. Um, sorry there wasn't too much action in this one. I mean, really, I, I pff, know I rambled on for so long at the beginning of this episode, but uh, hopefully it was enjoyable enough, and hopefully you'll tune in the next time. So, ciao, everybody. See you all next time.